Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my 3D printed R2D2 experiment. This is my buzzsaw progress, and what you're looking at here is the design I had for the coin slot. I reprinted or redesigned that to hold the hinges for the door next to the coin slot where the buzzsaw comes out of. And this is probably one of the first iterations I had, and I went through a few phases. I really think it's cool that it's the coin slot that the hinges mount to so it's kind of modular I can pull it in and out and and make changes as necessary this is my mock-up of the frame and what mounts first into the cavity is a little insert piece that I can drop in some square nuts and then I can mount this frame to that and this is going off of some uh, measurements that I've seen online of how long the actual buzzsaw is and I think I'm going to change that a bit in in the future but this is kind of a like an idea of the buzzsaw coming out and then how far out it's going to be and I actually redesigned the saw itself and made it a little bit larger than some of the other ones I've seen to take take advantage of the entire you know room that I have for the saw to come out and so I got the got the printing I, I printed up uh, the coin slots and and uh, the hinges in the door uh, everything worked very well then it was time to uh, you know get the saw out and what I did first was I masked off the door itself and I cut away because I wasn't sure well I knew that I had designed the insert to be around you know the, the back part of the door uh, kind of like the the inside part of the door where the door would actually hit not the door itself so I felt safe with cutting that out. I knew I had room to, to move outward as I cut. And I'll tell you, it's a leap of faith. You're more or less like, okay, it's it's all or nothing. Let's just do it, you know? And uh, it was pretty cool. It was I have one of those vibrating saws. Um, I know, I'm sure you've seen them in Home Depot. I bought a cheap Ryobi one to do flooring. And this was the final cut. It was on the outside perimeter of the door itself, you know, the door cavity. And then there's my insert inside. I uh, kind of hit the edges a few times, but I plan on repainting them anyway. So I was thrilled the way that came out. And it works actually better than I thought. Uh, it was quite easy to get that insert in. And then this is a picture of the, the coin slots, the door. And then I have a little video here of me opening and closing the door. And it's, it's a little janky because the door is a little offset and it needed the 45 file down on the edge of the door with a hinge, you know, the hinge side of the door so it could move more freely. But uh, hopefully I'll get some more progress up out to you guys. Uh, I appreciate all the comments and I appreciate all the views, every single one. Uh, you guys are great and I'll be back with some more videos. Thank you.